train I read it on the Cayman Islands. I know how. <laughs> Tom and I have um, been writing songs since fifth grade. Right? And uh, it's one of the great joys of my life, being Tom's friend and writing songs with him. Tom, I love you. And um, we, uh, the way we wrote songs for many, many years was that we would take off together. Uh, so this little tear in my eye, and we would disappear. Um, it was like our thing. And so many times we would, for a while, we started going to these, we'd like rent a house in Vermont, a farmhouse or something, and we would like lock ourselves in, and just me and Tom, and a lot of food, a lot of junk food, and stay up all night for like four days in a row. And it was always like the first day, a lot of the songs would be, um, sort of mental, you know what I mean? It'd be like lyrics that were planned beforehand or chord progressions that were planned beforehand. And then as the thing started to unfold, it always, at least the way I think of it, be, would become more and more organic because we would sort of stay up all night together. And everything started, like the boundaries would start to melt away. So this trip that we wrote this song on, we decided we would start expanding our songwriting vacations the more exotic locations. And uh, we went to the Cayman Islands, um, and we stayed in a room together. Um, um, <laughs> I can preface I can preface what you're about to say. Trey came to my house because we had an early morning flight, and mm. Lily will attest to this. Trey, in the course of, before uh, we went to sleep, we had three floors in our house. He left clothing that Lily found on every single floor. So by the time we got to Cayman Islands, Trey had a cutoff AC DC shirt, and that's it. And now I let him take over. I also had an incredibly short oh, pair of super short shorts. Shorts. And that's all we had. And we went there. We had, Tom also had incredibly short shorts. And we went. I'm not going to tell that part. And it's just funny because everybody, when we got there, one of the things we noticed is like, we would go to the restaurant, we were having all these tropical drinks and stuff, and all the waitresses were being really friendly. Uh, I think everybody thought we were a gay couple. <laughs> they told us later on that we were, we were vacationing together, which is probably pretty close. So, uh, but anyway, uh, we wrote for like three days. This was one of my favorite songwriting trips. I wrote Character Zero. And we were driving around and just screaming, like screaming in a, in a pickup, whatever that thing was, a Jeep. little Suzuki thing. And this was one of the, at the end. And um, uh, anyway, um, the last day, when we just weren't really thinking anymore, just writing together and just, I don't know, felt organic, so. Um, Tom's birthday will say that uh, it's been one of the great joys of my life having this relationship. I know there's a lot of people in here that do you know, so. Anything where I don't know when to stop 
But tree, it's true. But I'd see it through. If I could be, if I could be wasting my time with you.